Poem About My Rights by Dariana Guerrero after June Jordan. Alone tonight, and I am always alone. I hear the whistle of the wind and mistake it for the shadow of a man. I can't walk without thinking about how noticeable my body is, my floppy arms, stomach gutting out like a well-worn tire. The men look for Gomero and they find me and my tire of a body and they want to repair me, patch me up because men always like fixing women with their hands. And as I walk down South Union, double bubble and condom wrappers line the street, the occasional syringe. And at the light, the men's eyes follow the bump of my ass and the jiggle of my breasts. And I'm the mestiza hot and tot with a book of poetry and my dignity as my balancing act. And I'm fucked. Because when the men finally beep, I turn the corner and without them looking, I crack a smile. Because in some fucked up way, my body gives me power. The jiggle of my ass brings men to their knees because my cheeks can suffocate a man. And I take pleasure in knowing that the weight I carry is an extension of the legacy of women who fought back so that I could crack a smile on Dalton Street and Osgood and Crawford and attend my pretty hideaway college where black and brown and queer women preach the fucking revolution. And who gets to say this city isn't my home? Because I have been where Venus was, and I have returned unfazed by white men. And fuck who told me women belong in the kitchen. And fuck for pronouncing my name incorrectly. And fuck who exploited me. And being an adult means that your mentors become people kicked off the pedestal of innocence. And they fucked me over because I was everything wrong, wrong, wrong. In London, they thought I was from Spain. And in Curacao, they thought me to be Mexican. And here I am nothing and everything especially when I open my mouth and speak up the institution calls me nothing because to them I tick a check in a box and the box holds my hopes and dreams and now when I want to dream they tell me to stop because it's too dangerous for a brown girl to dream because that's how riots start and the first girl I loved asked me what my freedom dream was and I didn't know what to tell her but now, now I know freedom will cost me my life.